Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, we're going to be checking out the brand new Cryptozoic Entertainment DC Comics Bombshells The Batwoman. To give you an idea of how tall she is, let will grab the tape measure. If you count technically the, the points of her ear, little points of the bat ear of her hat, she stands just very, very close to eight inches tall. To give you a scale comparison as to how she stands next to the other bombshells, we'll bring in Poison Ivy. We'll also bring in Supergirl. And she, again, she's about the same height, give or take, as Supergirl. Supergirl only factoring in the fact that she's got the curl of her hair. If we put them back to back, yeah, they're about the same height. Poison Ivy is just a little bit shorter. A thank you, by the way, to the folks over at Cryptozoic Entertainment for supplying these and all the ones that you've been looking at over the last couple of videos. Uh, all the bombshells are slated to be released and actually going to be showcased at the upcoming San Diego Comic-Con. So if you're in the area, unfortunately, I won't be able to make it this year. Um, but if you are in the area and you're going to be attending the SDCC, make sure you swing by the Cryptozoic Entertainment booth where you'll be able to see these in person along with the other collectibles they've got slated for release. So again, really super excited that I got a chance to have a look at these early. Um, the Batwoman, or Batwoman we'll just go by, is one of my personal favorite designs of the Bombshells characters. I absolutely love the fact that she's using like one of those old old style uh, baseball outfits. Kind of reminds me of something you would see from like a league of their own. She does come with a bat. She is posed with a bat, which actually says the Batwoman across the side there, or running down the side of the bat. The display stand is a familiar sight. It is the same missile, same bomb that we've seen with the other figures. And she is perched atop of that. I think one of the reasons why I like this particular one so much is the vibrant popping of the red with the black. There's something about black and red coming together kind of reminds me of the old 66 Batman where you had like the red and the black combined. But there's something about that red that pops on the black that really makes this figure stand out. Um, I love the sculpt of their hair, how she's got that curled hair that wraps itself around almost to the point of her shoulder. And again, that sculpt on the face, absolutely beautiful. She's got that slight shaded area uh, making up that of her mask and these piercing green eyes. She's got a subtle smile, almost more like a slight smirk going for her. And uh, skin tone wise, let's bring in, for example, the Supergirl that we already had a look at. Supergirl of much fairer complexioned character versus that of of uh, of Batwoman here. Batwoman comes across almost more like a like a darker skin tone in, uh, in comparison. And then of course, if you compare her right next to the Poison Ivy, well, there then there's the drastic change of skin tones between the three characters. Again, we'll just move these out of the way because we've already looked at those. Uh, she is pre-posed, in other words, basically the fact that this is a vinyl figure, you don't really get a lot of posability in pieces like this and Batwoman here is no exception. It would have been nice if they had had incorporated some sort of swivel to her head where you could have rotated her head, but I'm perfectly fine with this being a staction piece as the sculpt is absolutely gorgeous. One of the little side closing notes is I like the fact that the back of the jersey is marked Gotham Knights 52. Uh, with a slight tilt to the figure, you can even see that there's a little bit of that red interior of her skirt. So some something small like that, I like that they would have been yeah, care for, careful when it came to the attention to detail. Like even the little small aspects incorporating that red is a beautiful touch. Of the three figures, let's bring them in once again. All three of these again will be making appearances at SDCC this year. Uh, of the three, I hate to say it, my favorite is probably going to be the Batwoman. The Supergirl is still a beautiful piece. Equally said, for the Poison Ivy, but there's something about the Batwoman that really resonates for me. Maybe it's just the coloring. I love the fact that she's got this very vibrant red hair. I think it's probably just the combination of the red hair and the fact that she's got the black outfit with the trim of the red, which is an absolutely gorgeous touch. Already a beautiful sculpted figure, but incorporating all that definitely makes this an absolute win for me. 
Uh, these will eventually make their way to comic book stores as well. So if you're a fan of uh, the Bombshells line, I definitely would say I would highly recommend picking these ones up. Especially if you're a fan of vinyl figures and you want something a little bit different, these definitely bring a little bit different to your collection. Once again, we were looking at the Cryptozoic Entertainment. This was the DC Comics Bombshells line. And this was the 8-inch, give, give or take of around 8 inches tall, the vinyl figure of the Batwoman. If you guys like what you saw in this video, certainly hit it with a like. Let me know down below of the three figures, what is your favorite figure from the DC Comics Bombshell line? And actually, you know what? While we're at it, we'll put Batgirl, Batwoman right there. We'll bring in Supergirl again, and we'll bring in Poison Ivy. We'll line them up like this. What are we doing over here? I'm going to reach off camera. I really wasn't planning on doing this, but just going to reach off camera to where I had the other pieces. I'm going to bring in Chung Li, and we're going to bring in Cammy, and we're going to bring in Sakura. Just want to show you guys all the vinyl figures that you'll be able to expect to see at the San Diego Comic-Con this year from Cryptozoic Entertainment. Again, if you get a chance, head over to the Cryptozoic Entertainment booth. Give them a high for me if you can. And uh, really excited to see what they've got lined up for the upcoming year for collectors. As always, guys, thanks for watching as you always do. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe to this channel, hit that little subscribe button down below. And if you're a fan of Cryptozoic Entertainment and like to see some of the older videos that I've shot, you can go back and check out the Cryptozoic Entertainment playlist as well. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.